Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? It is officially Bourbon County time. Yes, it is. Well, actually, it already was, but then yeah. today I was able to go out and get, I hit the jackpot. Like, usually I'm running from store to store to store to store. I went to one store and I just came home and I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for the year. Um, so this one is um, Goose Island's Bourbon County brand 14 stout. It's a stout aged in rye whiskey barrels with cassia bark, cacao nibs, panela, and coconut water. So this is actually the uh, 2014, hence the name 14, recipe of uh, proprietor in Bourbon County. But they uh, added rye to the mash and they also upped, uh, I think that's it, right? Yep. Just to dry the mash. And um, yeah, so if you already watched our... Um, regular 2021 base that uh kyle kyle got us we love that one so i'm really excited to, uh, to dive into this we managed to get this um the coca-cola variant well not coca-cola i think that's, that's copyright infringement um and uh the cherry wood so um the cherry wood and the coca-cola we're in massachusetts for those that don't know they had cases of those two the they, they only had two bottles left of these which which i snagged one for right now and then one for uh Aging down the line. Was it ABD? 13.2. 13.2. And now uh, this is pretty sweet glasses you got here, Sean. Pretty sweet sweatshirt. That is true. Where do you get those? <laughs> you. That's you. right. But you both. You, you. I, I didn't plan it like this either. This sweatshirt is just so comfortable. That's <laughs> why so I bought it for you. Because you knew it was comfortable? Sure. All right. So, I mean, I can already smell it. It looks like Bourbon County. It looks like Bourbon County. Although I, th I feel like the head's actually darker. Wasn't the one we had with Kyle 14-ish percent too? Yes. And the interest that this is less with Just could, with more rye in the mash too. But dumping a lot of adjuncts and stuff. Yeah. All right. See on the nose. Oh. That is... Brown sugar. But I think that's probably like the, the, the panella sugar. Because you were saying earlier, panella is what? Like more raw sugar? Yeah, it's like raw... Un refined kind of a sugar but yeah it is specifically sort of like a brown sugary kind of smell yeah. although panella doesn't really smell like brown sugar but there's more molasses -y. i i'm, I'm thinking because a little bit of sweetness too it could be the coconut coming in as well oh yeah yeah because there is a, there's definitely coconut in there there's also like chocolate syrup i didn't get chocolate syrup i am getting chocolate syrup yeah are you you're not well, getting if, if okay if if i really put, well the brown sugar the the coconut yeah, okay, there it is. I am getting uh, almost a little bit of a hit of spiciness here. I was going to say, right at the end, you get like a, a whiff of the alcohol, but but it's got the rye spiciness going up, going, going to it. Oh, it smells. It's, it smells great. It, it, it doesn't have like the, the, the super fudgy German chocolate cake that we got from the uh, original, just, just no. the base. But so far, everything in here smells delicious. Let's see if it tastes delicious. Let's do it, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, store that will not be named for putting this out early. Oh, the fragrance going to be too cold. Perfect. Yeah. Mm. I can stand to be a little bit warmer. Yeah. But it's, it, this is good. I'm, I wouldn't complain about this. So, the taste does follow the nose with actually a little bit more like a, a spicy bite. Almost like Almost to the point of it, like being just like a, a hint of like um, of like red pepper or something. Like you, I, I'm just a little bit of that spiciness, you know. Ah, that's interesting. I get a spicy, but I don't know if I get red pepper. Oh no, no, not necessarily red pepper, but almost like the little tingle on the tongue, you know. Mouthfeel. It's very. It's almost syrupy, but it's also light too. It's syrupy, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It does. It, it, it's sort of like a watered down maple syrup a little bit. Um, the finish though, it finishes, it gives like a red rip for it. It completely finishes. You get that like kiss of sweetness and then this like ashy kind of roastiness at yeah. the back of your palate. It dries too. Yeah. Woody, almost woody. Um, I mean, this is delicious, but. Coconut is up there kind of mid palate for me. If you kind of let it play around on your palate a little bit, we get the coconut. You get like the extra little oomph, rye spiciness. Yep. Not so much chocolate syrup on the flavor, but I do get that sort of cacao nib more. Yeah, because of the cacao. Is that earth? cocoa. Yeah, 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 but cacao nib is a little bit earthy and woody yeah. too, you know, because it, yeah. it, it, I'm getting that for sure. I mean, that's really nice. 
I mean, really, really nice. I, I'm like one of the things is with all these different things we're pointing out. I want to stress that these are working in tandem. Like it's all working together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just like a bunch of wacky things. This is beautifully, beautifully put together. And it seems like the case with a lot of the variants because you get all these, and you get a lot of Imperial Stouts, Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stouts with just wonky adjuncts and they just sometimes are just all over the place. Goose Island really, they, they fully understand their base beer enough yeah. so that they can make these adjuncts work together in the perfect way with, without, other, without overshadowing other ones or being overpowering. Like, yeah, this is... And the, oh, coconut water, not coconut... That's, I just forgot about that. That's so weird. That's something I've never heard before. Yeah. Might be actually why it goes down a little bit too. Just going to say that. Uh, you know, I actually find this a little bit easier to sip than normal. Um, and I don't think that's the ABV because it, you know, it's 1%, right? Right. But I think what it is, I think it's just a little thinner. Mm -hmm. I think that those cacao nibs and a little bit of that, that barrel, they're drying it out a little bit at the end. Um, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Yep. It has all these things that, that makes me just want to keep sipping. No, I don't mean like 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 quaffing and just destroying, but I mean like sometimes it would be, like I'll, I can pour a glass of B BCBS and it sits on my table for a while. This won't sit that long. I'll yeah. It, kind it, of it, it, it's, it's kind of it's, it's not thirst quenching, but like. <laughs> well, it, no, it's not. But but it does make you. I this is something I will sip a little more quickly than a regular BCBS. Yeah. I, man, I, this is, this, this, this is special. I think it's interesting how, how sweet it seems and then isn't. It's weird. Because you do get the hint of sugar, and that, but then it's, everything else is working against that in, in ways of kind of making it palatable and yeah. such. You know, like I said, the, the, those, that cacao nib for sure, that earthy kind of punch, that chocolate dry punch. Really helps here. It's really good. And like the, I think the wood really comes through on after you after you stop drinking for a little bit. After you put it down, mm. you're talking. That's where the wood kind of comes on the side of your palate, mm. and you kind of get it a little bit, a little drying, a little bit of just like that 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 oaky woody character. It's yeah. freaking. It's this is fantastic. If if this variant is is in your region, yeah, absolutely world class. Hands down, pick up pick world it up. class. This is definitely one of the more I think rare ones. So this was this was the one that like twenty five bucks versus the cherry wood was nineteen, cola was twenty five as well. Oof, really? Yeah, I don't know what, what justifies that. I don't remember what the what the caramello was last year. I think that was one of the twenty twenty dollar ones. I don't remember. Um, but either way, down in the comments, have you had Goose Island's Bourbon County brand? 14 stout there. Uh, Bourbon County uh, aged in rye whiskey barrels with cassia bark. What's cassia bark? Cassia bark is from a tree. Mm. Cassia. I don't know. Let's cassia. Cacao nibs, panela, and coconut water. We'll tell you what cassia is in a second. Um, so this one says uh, develops in the bottle for up to five years. So we have a second bottle. So that'll be sitting. Maybe not five years. But, uh, you know, it has the same kind of bottle art as... Uh, the proprietor's blend, well, not not bottle art, like more um, color scheme, right? So it has like the the blue and red kind of going on for it. Uh, it's, it's one of several species of uh, tree used primarily for the aromatic bark, which is used as a spice. The buds are also used as a spice, especially in India, and were once used by ancient Romans. I uh, smell it more. I get like a, I want to say an allspice clovey thing. Unless that's the cassia bark. Uh, <laughs> There's something in Cassia Bark that can get cause liver damage soon large amounts. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good thing um, to put in a beer. Yeah, but it seems like it's sort of a spicy cinnamon yeah. kind of a thing. Which makes sense. Th that might be what we yeah. were saying. Like I was getting like a, oh, a little bit of spiciness to it. But yeah, down in the comments, let us know what you think. Let, let us know what you, your favorite variant of this year Bur Bourbon County is. Uh, what do you think of it compared to the last couple of years? Let's have a conversation. And uh, as always, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you're notified when we post new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerd Sense. Nerd Sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.